car. Okay, guys, how's things? Um, Monday Arbor has kind of become a bit of a ritual for us since we've closed the restaurant. We haven't been accessing the markets every morning. We've been coming into the Tomkin Tomkin Calm markets uh, a Monday afternoon. Do our weekly shopping. We come here, get our meat, veggies, salad, fruit, stuff like that and then go over to home ideal to get our other goodies so that's what we're doing you guys are coming along also so i'm just cru i usually drop nina off there because you can't get a park out the front and i'll cruise on around the block looking for a park which usually ends up along here somewhere Parked up on the footpath like most do. Uh, give you guys an idea where we're at. There's the big green furniture buildings. 100, 200 metres past that is my gym. This is Asian Road. Tom Kun, Tom Kun Calm Market. Tom Kun Calm Market. It's down this side alley. This is the afternoon markets. Follow the lane down that we came in, drove up and to the right, is where you'll find the old morning markets. I'll have to get up one early one morning and go there, show you the sights and sounds there, guys, and smells. Really tight little market. Oh, no. See if we can find Miss Nene. Fruit, veg, meat, this section. Supermarket up there. We might duck up there rather than go over to Home Ideal and get our supermarket gear. There she is, in the pink. In the pink. Very colourful, eh? Hey? She's a drive through to this market, did I mention that? And supermarket. Not a very large market. It's a what you'd call an afternoon market for Beatty. As I said, the other part of it, the morning market, is down the street a little bit. To Beatty. What's this lady got cooking? To Beatty. Hello. Yeah, sun's right in your eyes, down that away from the morning markets, right in the heart of the city, guys. Couple of salons there, chilling out in the salon. Ma! And the old fish sauce, guys. 
you can find the fish source with your eyes shut in a market. The aroma attracts, well it doesn't attract you, you know exactly, you know exactly what you're heading towards. Uh, it, it is a smell that takes a lot of getting used to. It was the fish sauce they were making in the restaurant there, out of Coke Air restaurant, and the last video. Just fish fermenting in the bottom of the bucket. And that is exactly what it's doing here. Just at various stages of fermentation. Is that a word? So uh, for Simmons, twenty-three thousand. That's two dollars thirty a kilo. Two two dollars thirty US. And then just under three Aussie dollars. Aussie dollars. Big juicy mandarin, seventeen thousand kip. About ten thousand kip is one US dollar. So you're looking about dollar seventy US a kilo. At two dollars forty Oz, roughly. Getting a cup of kilo there. This Nini does like her mandarins, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. How about apple? Yeah. Apple and banana on our oats of the morning. Apple and banana is a good substitute for sugar. Fuck that sugar off, guys. It's hard, I know. It is hard. Okay, thirty eggs for thirty thousand kip. Three US dollars for thirty eggs. 10 cents an egg guys. That well, looks good. supermarket actually from the little bit I've seen so far baby formulas S26 you know I think my sister grew up on S26 she's in her 40s now okay bread they do have bread the malt of the whole wheat bread that we like so that just leaves us with oats if we can find oats I'd say this will be a stop saver. Oh, yeah, the good yeah. stuff, eh? Hey? The good stuff. It. Not Last telling you, it's a secret. Pretty sure the oats aren't here in this section. Right, uh, they do have oats, but not in the size I like buying them I in. Mean, I usually figure you buy them how cheap they are. They're about twice the price of twice the price here than what they are in bloody Thailand. Imported. Anything imported is more expensive in a landlocked country.
Don't make it bad Take a sad 